All right, weather woman, what do we have here? Except you're standing in front of a uh, real life one kind of a weather map. <laughs> Don, what's BG and E say about the weather? It's gonna be a storm. Contingency planning at its best. That is Tom contingency planning. That that is a sign of a good project manager. These are our Chesapeake style Roma sausages made right here in Baltimore, Maryland. A great compliment for the expensive crabs. This here is a Chesapeake Bay Maryland blue crab. You can tell by all the blue all over their claws. We have a little bit of vinegar. This is more for the dipping, not necessarily the cooking. We have a dip bag here, seasoning bag for the boiling of the water, which contains Old Bay as well. Water, and then of course, Baltimore's finest, National Bohemian. So the secret to perfect Baltimore crabs in steaming them is in the simplicity. Just a little bit of water, and of course, Baltimore's Natty Bow. One can. You're obviously not going to get a lot of hops with this beer, but you will get a good amount of maltiness, which will impart a good flavor on the crabs. Now we'll let that set for a bit. The final ingredient is a mixture of spices that is very similar to Old Bay but slightly different. So when this steams, this flavor will come up with the beer into the crabs. Let that steep for a little bit, bring it to a boil, and we'll add the crabs. Prior to dropping the Maryland blue crabs, you need to get your solution of beer, water, and spices to a steady steaming boil. Once the water is steaming, we put all of our Maryland blue crabs in a steamer pot put the lid on and then take the pot and place it above so that the crabs can be steamed for 25 to 30 minutes. All the crabs are in this pot. There's steam coming off of the boiling water. The crabs are going to be steamed. <laughs> mm. We prefer McCormick's Old Bay to season our Maryland blue, blue fin crabs. Generally, generously, Sprinkle your Maryland blue crabs with Old Bay. As you'll see, the table is now being covered with newspaper. This is a key component to the crabbing process because crab guts are going to go everywhere. So in order to keep everything clean, newspaper is essential. And you know that the crabs are done when they have that nice orange tint to them. Um, so now we're going to actually get started by picking. And I want you to start by flipping it over um, so that you see the underside of the crab. To get this part of the crab up, you would, I take a claw, lift up the bottom part, and break off the underside, or break off the flap. Okay, now you're ready to break apart the crab. To do that, you would take your two thumbs so that you can pull apart the shell of the crab from the body of the crab. 
and just like that you've pulled it apart um, and luckily this is a little hot but we've gotten most of the guts out in the in the shell of the crab so we don't have much cleaning to do okay so next we're going to clean out the rest of the I'll say icky parts of the crab other than the meat and we start by breaking off the rest of the shell that's kind of laying there and then breaking off the I don't know what these are but lungs. The, lungs. the lungs of the crab and break them off for both halves of the crab So now it looks like our crab is as cleaned out as we're going to get it at this point. And we're going to break the, the two halves in half. Now I'm going to work with this half of the crab because this half of the crab has a leg or a, a claw, whereas this half doesn't. So what I like to do is to start with the back, the, the smallest leg of the crab. And you're going to start by breaking the shell all around the crab so that you only expose the meat to this part of the crab. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. Okay, once that's done, now you can break off this leg so that the leg has the meat, as much meat as possible. And see, now you have a good, healthy chunk of meat. If you want a good, clean chunk of meat out of your, out of your claw, it may be best for you to start to bang it on both sides, just slightly enough, so that you can break apart the rest of the shell. And you'll have a nice clean chunk of meat that comes out of the claw. You dip it in the butter, if that's your choice of, of topping or condiment. Condiment, they do. But it's my choice. And then boom, you've eaten eaten one half of your crab. Then you would basically repeat the same process for the second half until you've consumed all the crabs that, uh, that you like. All of them. <laughs>